Wheel studs make it super easy to get your wheels on and off. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're gonna show you how to make your life drastically easier by adding a wheel stud conversion to your BMW. Let's take a moment to talk about why you may wanna do a wheel stud conversion to your BMW. If you're familiar with BMW and other European auto manufacturers, they like to use these little wheel lugs and basically the way that it works, you get your very expensive wheel, you balance it on this teeny tiny little hub and you hope that you don't accidentally slip because you could hit your brake, you could hit your dust shield or your caliper and scratch the inside of your expensive wheel. Once you have that all positioned, you have to make sure everything is lined up. Sometimes there's a little back and forth. Then you get your wheel lug, you take it through, you line everything up. Whew, it didn't fall off, you're good to go. And then you tighten everything down. It is a huge pain in the butt. Now let's say you wanna get wild and crazy and you want to add a spacer to correct your factory wheels offset. No problem, you get your little teeny tiny lug here. We stick it through the wheel, you stick it through your spacer and then you quickly realize you've only got about three threads and your wheel's gonna fall off. So what you do is you go out and you buy new wheel lugs that are a little bit longer. And then you get new wheels and you're excited to install them and then you realize that you only have the extended wheel lugs which aren't gonna work and you misplace the old ones. So now you have to go out and buy new short ones and delay putting your wheels on. Wait, Zach, have they seen these yet? So we're just gonna have you forget about those wheels if you can just uh, look over here for a second. Now the kit that we're going to be installing today is from a company called Motorsport Hardware and we have them available at keysmotorsports.com if you are interested in a set. And basically what it is going to include, it's going to include the 17 millimeter lug nuts and also the wheel studs. So as far as what tools you'll need, you're going to need a way to take off your lug nuts with a 17 millimeter socket. I'd also recommend having a wire brush to get rid of any rust that's on your hub. You're going to need some medium strength Loctite. You're going to need a five millimeter Allen socket on a torque wrench set to 25 foot pound. And you will also need a 17 millimeter, which can be used from here, um, socket on a torque wrench that's set to 105 foot pounds. Last, as you can see behind me, we have the car on a quick jack. You're going to need a quick jack, a lift, or just a basic jack and jack stands to help get the car off the ground. The first part of the process is to take some medium strength thread locker and we're going to apply it just to these little threads over here. Boop. Then you're going to take this, you're going to carefully thread it in by hand as far as you can go. And then take your torque wrench set to 25 foot pound. Torque it down and you are good to go. Now, one important thing to know, we already cleaned this up a bit. So if you are going to clean, it's going to be much easier to do it without the wheel studs installed. So make sure everything is good to go. Now, while we're here, I wanna take a minute to talk about how to remove these if you ever need to. If you try to use your Allen socket again, what's going to happen is you're just going to strip it out because you're not gonna get the leverage that you need to loosen up that Loctite. What you do is you take two nuts, you put one on far and then one on the end here and you cinch them together. And then what you do is you take a wrench on the nut that's closest to the rotor and you release it like that and it'll come right off. Um, the nuts are going to bind up. You'll be able to spin it out. Once again, do not use this Allen over here to remove it because it'll just strip out. So at this time, 
Let's install the other four. Boop. 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 Okay, now that all the studs are torqued down, we are done with this. We could put our new wheel on with our new lug nuts. So as you will notice, it comes with these cold forged steel. My wheel's rolling away. <laughs> <laughs> what I really like about the cold forged uh, lug nuts that we have here, first they're extended and they have a little grip so it makes it super easy to get them on. Second, they are open. So what does that mean? It means if you want to run a spacer on your wheel, I have the length here for a 15 millimeter spacer. I can, or if I want to run new wheels, what's going to happen is the bolt is just going to go right through the nut. So they're universal no matter what size you have. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put the wheels on and we're going to show you a side by side comparison of me putting these on with wheel studs and as it comes from the factory. So as you just saw, when you have wheel studs, it goes on so much easier. You could probably see me in the back fumbling a little bit, making sure that everything was sitting on the hub. And then once you get it on the hub, you have to position it so that you can actually get the lug and put it through. With the wheel studs, you know exactly where they go. And then once it's on, it just holds it for you. So you don't have to have it positioned perfectly and continue to hold it while you get that first one in. It's just so much easier. It makes this process completely painless. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to snug all of these lug nuts up. We're going to put all the studs all around the car. We're going to lower it down and torque everything down to 104 foot pound. Now, quick little tip on something we like to do. We like to take the old lugs and just put them in the slots of where we took the lug nuts out, and that way, you won't lose them. So as you just saw, a wheel stud conversion is very easy to do, it's very affordable, and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when taking your wheels off and putting them on. If you're interested in a set for your car, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.